Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to another video. In this uh, video I have this mini uh, mini one. This is a 1.2 and it's a 2015. Uh, I'm going to be changing the oil and the oil filter in it. Um, also have a look at the condition of the air filter. Uh, I'm not going to change it but uh, if you look at the guide you can you can go ahead and change it if you need to. I'm also going to top up some screen wash fluid and check the coolant level. Um, so I'm going to start by topping up some screen wash fluid and that goes to the left of the left and front corner there of the engine if you're looking at it in this uh, from this position from the front. Um, also to open this bonnet you need to pull the lever twice um, it's written on it, but you pull the little uh, the bonnet release lever two times, and then you'll be able to open the bonnet. So you can buy a uh, screen wash fluid already mixed or concentrated one, mix it yourself. Any garage or petrol station will sell it. Uh, now we'll have a look at the coolant. The coolant will be in that uh, expansion tank there. I'm going to get this open. Just uh, remember if the engine's been running, um, coolant will be very hot. So just be careful when opening this, even though they're made for safety. Um, you can open it slowly to release the pressure. So I'm using this little gadget here that will help me measure the percentage of antifreeze in it. And uh, as that settles, that's just showing me around uh, minus 30 there. So that will freeze at minus 30 basically. Also with this little gadget, you can check the condition of the, of the antifreeze. You can see if it's clear or if it's dirty. Um, you can just inspect it as this bit here is quite clear. Um, now the level, if you look inside of this container, you will see a max there. Now let's try to get the light here. I just shine it on the side you can just about see that there's a max in yellow there and there's also a minimum mark inside of there the minimum is it's a bit difficult to see but it's below obviously below the max um, you can see it it's uh, if you look at, the, at it down there um, but you can see that little max mark and uh, you, you expect your antifreeze um, just to cover that, that mark and then you know you're at the, at the max. Um, you'll be able to see if that was below, you'll be able to see it. Um, the little mark will be really bright yellow basically and you'll be able to see that it's not covered in in liquid. Um, maybe another thing to point out, this particular Mini, this is a Mini one, um, but it's a, it's a Japanese import. 
and although everything should be pretty much the same, it can sometimes differ slightly on some things. But uh, I'm sure the markings will be the same. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, can move on to have a look at the air filter condition here. The air filter will be here under this cover. Um, you just need to undo this uh, one. Three, three Torx screws, these are T T25s, um, and then just uh, get this little rubber mount out, and we can lift that, and that's our filter there. I mean, that is not too bad at all. Um, this AVMW one, man, uh, it's a man filter and the part number is that one there, 1371-8513-94403 and then obviously you get your new one you can clean inside of it, you can hoover it or blow it out or something um, if it was really dirty and get your new filter in there and just get that cover back on. Those screws just um, are screwing into plastic, so you don't need to over tighten them, otherwise the, little, the plastic gets damaged underneath and then they just go around. Um, don't forget that. It just goes in there. Okay. Um, now we're going to move on and uh, concentrate on the oil and the oil filter. So for that I'm going to open the oil filler cap here. Just a little bit tight. I'm going to leave it open. Um, if you take it out, just uh, make sure you cover that hole if you're working outside, so nothing goes in there. Um, now I'm going to get the car up and we're going to drain the oil and tackle the filter from underneath. Okay, so looking at the car from underneath, um, we have these two areas here. We're just going to open them. So up here, it's our oil filter, and on this side we just have the the nut to drain the oil. Uh, well, the bolt, I should say. So get yourself an oil pan. So I've got a 17 mil to crack that open. Remember if the engine's been running, that oil can be very hot. So just be careful not to burn yourself. Okay, so we can just let that drain for five to ten minutes. 
for until we finish draining the um, oil from the um, oil filter and we change the oil filter as well. Now, uh, in the center of the filter, there will be one of these. Um, and I'm just going to open that to drain the oil from that filter. Um, and I'm using a 13 mil that will fit in there. So it might be a little bit difficult for me to film exactly what I'm trying to to do, but um, if you look at the filter, um, if we just look at the bottom of the filter, we'll be able to see that, uh, okay, so you can just about see the center of the filter there. I'm just going to get that in there, and I'm going to undo that. make sure you have your oil pan under that Okay, so just let that drain for a bit and then we'll be able to remove that filter housing there. To remove the, fil the filter housing itself, I'm gonna be using one of these. This is a, but before I remove it, I'm just gonna put the little, uh, cover back uh, the little screw back on um, as that has now drained gonna clean the area a little bit I can then get my tool up there okay so I have a 32 mil socket here which I'm gonna be using to remove that filter so get the 32 mil up there and just uh, crack that open so so a little bit of oil may still come from there but it won't be much at all because we already uh, got rid of most of it. But just to avoid any mess, you can have your oil pan underneath.
and that's the filter there. So yes, there is still a little bit of oil. If you tilt it, still a bit of oil dripping from there. While that is just uh, finishing draining and, and whatever, we're gonna um, prepare our oil filter here. So I'm using a blueprint, it's the part number there, ADB112108. So we got our filter here, we just need to pull this up, which sometimes can be a bit hard. Okay. Still a little bit of oil in there, but that's okay. Now, um, I'm gonna get this bit out again because we have an in our kit we have these three parts that we need to change so before I remove uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease on this little o-ring here you can just put a bit of grease or a bit of oil So I'm going to dispose of that as we have a new one. So we have a new copper washer for the sun plug bolt there and we're just going to just going to remove that this o-ring here we have the new one here And just get it in there, make sure it's in the correct groove. The one at the bottom. And again, I'm just gonna rub a little bit of grease around here. Grease or oil will do. Will do the job. And our new filter just plugs in there like so. Okay, so that's ready. That's ready to go back in the car. Um, just something to note on the back of this cup, usually tells you the torque at which you can you should tighten this and it's written as 25 newton meters and it says 25 newton meters plus 5 newton meters so if you have a torque wrench just go ahead and use that. 
So I'm just going to get the sun plug bolt back on first. And just clean the area a little bit, just using a little bit of uh, brake fluid cleaner. Just wipe it off, make sure the area is clean. Okay, we can get our uh, filter now in there. Okay, so the center of the of the filter itself uh, needs to needs to sort of plug in up there. Um, so you need to push it you need to push it in and then screw it on. So I screw that on by hand as much as I can. Um, that way I know it's going in the correct way. I can then use the tool to finish tightening this. Okay. Um, our filter is in there, our sun plug bolt is back in. Now we just need to close these little flaps. Now we can lower the car and uh, top up some oil. Now we're ready to get some oil in there. Um, I'm going to be using 5W30 um, and um, I'm going to use 4.25 liters. Now the, the manual on this car is in, in Japanese so I can't really check properly the quantities. But um, I have had a look online and some technical data and they show um, this 1.2 engine to take uh, 4.25 litres. Um, so that's what I'm going to be 
putting in there. Okay, I've got my 4.25 in there. And now, um, we need to reset the oil service interval and we can also check the oil quantities in the computer inside of the car because there's, no, uh, there's no dipstick. So, just need to get the car running. And obviously, if you have this car, you will be familiar with this wheel here. Um, so, I'm gonna go to uh, vehicle information there. Click on that. Um, that was just a Japanese message there. Um, vehicle status. And then... We can measure the um, engine oil level. Um, but the car, the car needs to be on a flat um, surface and it also needs to warm up. So, um, this is not yet maybe at operating temperature so we will be doing that in, in a minute now service requirements engine oil next save is due when the stated uh, distance has been covered so this has got another 10,000 kilometers but Date-wise, is in uh, September, and I do need to reset that. Okay, so um, to be able to reset to a new um, mileage or kilometers here and, and a new date, um, we can do that with the with this this button here. Um, so I've got the car now, I, I just switched it off, but um, I've got the ignition on. So to get the ignition on, um, don't start the car basically, just operate this button. So everything is off, don't press the brake basically, and get that on. So ignition switched on. Now I get the little uh, service message. Um, you might not get that message for some things, but for other things, that message uh, that message needs uh, will need to be uh, reset something. Um, so if you have this menu here. Okay, so we have that menu there and we have a little button here. Now I just wanna go to that, where it's showing the temperature. And then I'm gonna press and hold this button until that comes up. So that is uh, for, the, for the car check, that is in September. Um, and I need to reset that as well, because uh, although we're in July, um, just preparing the car to be sold and I need to reset a few of these, of these things I have uh, I'm gonna be doing the front brake front, front pads uh, in a few days and uh, and that brake fluid there so I won't be resetting that just now 
but this this is green but um, it will be due in September but uh, we're releasing the car um, next week and uh, it needs to be reset so to reset it um, so to reset it I'm gonna press and hold that button again perform reset and then press and hold that button again and then you can release it reset in progress and uh, now we have 12,000 kilometers and uh, next next year in July I'm also going to reset this check as we have carried out that check so press and hold and release and the perform reset and press and hold and now it's reset in progress and that's an, our new date in a couple of years all 48,000 miles and then I'm gonna be doing that when I change the paths um, now I'm just trying to check the quantities of the oil here but um, we need we need the car to warm up engine oil level okay um, I want to measure it and again it's just telling me that it needs to it needs to warm up so at the moment temperature is okay but it's not really reached its optimum temperature just yet so we're gonna wait for that and then we're gonna check the level okay so I mean the engine is warm now um, but when I go into the menu um, it's still telling me that the engine needs to be warm and on a flat surface and selecting P or, D or N or P um, but it's not allowing me to, to do the measurement so if I just go back on that although just here is telling me that the engine oil level is okay um, I expected there to be a little uh, I think there is a little measuring gauge electronic um, but it's not coming up as yet so that's pretty much how you would um, check your oil level but um, but since uh, since I just performed the service on this car anyway um, and I use 4.25 liters um, for this particular model um, just because this is a Japanese import and just needed to make sure I get the correct level um, if I was um, below it would probably tell me to top up um, and if, it, if I was above uh, usually tells you to drain some oil so you you don't want to really overfill um, the oil so anyway um, I hope this video helps and um, thanks for watching